And so let's get started. First, you want to open up a terminal window. So the first command we'll cover is cd space period period. This command will move up one directory to your home directory. Next is ls. This command will display a listing of the files in the current directory. Okay, next we'll do ls space minus l. This displays the la uh, listing in long format. Next, ls space minus al. This command displays a listing of files including hidden files. Okay. All right, let's display the manual page for ls. So man for manual space ls. Here you can try uh, some different commands. So we already cover the minus L and minus AL. All right, you can also do this one, one of my favorites, LS minus LTR. All right, let's cover man man. This displays the manual page for the man command. Hit Q to quit. This will display the current date and time. This will display the current month's calendar. This command will display how long the system has been up and running. This command will display who is logged on to the system. This command will display whom you are logged on as. All right, clear. This will clear the screen. DF, this will display how much of your hard disk you have used. This will create a simple text file. Let's actually become a super user so I can create the text file. SU for super user. Enter in your super user password, your root password. Okay. Again, this will create a simple text file. We can verify by using the ls command.
So this command will start the VI editor and will allow us to enter text into the file that we created. In this case, david.txt. To go into insert mode, press I. Notice at the bottom, right here, it says insert. Now you can type in your text. We will enter our name three times. And then when you're finished, hit escape. You want to press ZZ. This will save the text file and exit the VI editor. So type in capital Z, Z. And make sure you do capital ZZ. Um, it's case sensitive. Okay. Let's verify that uh, what we entered in, inserted in our text, is shown. Okay. Again, escape. Capital Z Z. This will create a folder in your home directory. ls to display the uh, current directory. Type cd. cd will allow you to uh, change directory. A really cool trick that you can use as well too when you're typing in your uh, directory or anything for that matter is if you know the name of it, for example from David Can, you can just simply t uh, press tab, tab over, and it will complete the uh, the word for you. Yeah, using tab will save a lot of time, as well as like prevent errors. PWD stands for Present Working Directory. Others have called it Print Working Directory. Either one's fine. CD space period period. This will move back one level in a directory structure to your home directory. So this will copy, uh, create a copy of uh, the text file. As you can see, it created a copy. So this command will make a copy of the copy, move it into the directory that we created, David Can folder, and give it a new name. The name we gave it is David Copy 2. All right, let's verify that it's there. OK. As you can see, it was copied to the directory that we created. Again, ls will use this, you will use this to display the content of our home directory.
This will delete the copied file in our home directory using the RM. Bang, bang. This will repeat the last command. This command will allow you to find the text file that you created. So you'll definitely see some permission denied responses, but you should also see your file listed near the top, in our case, right here. This will move you to the home directory. What we want to do is change directory to the folder we created earlier. Now we'll look into the grep command. So this will search for instances where your last name appears in the text file that we had created. So in this case, it will look for the, uh, the last name can in that text file and then it will return every line of text where the last name appears. Okay. So this command will create a compressed archive of the text file that we specified. This is similar to zipping a file. Alright, let's check it. Okay. This command will delete the text file. So we're going to delete the David copy 2.txt. Yes. Verify. Okay. So this command will extract the file from the archive into your directory. So this command will display a listing of the processes currently running on our uh, virtual machine. Note that this is a uh, interactive mode. I have config is the same as IP config that's on Windows. It'll show you your IP address as well as the, interf uh, the interface, the Ethernet. This is our IP address. This is our subnet mask. The ping command is the same on the Windows and on the Linux. Simply ping. So this command will display a detailed information about the Google web servers. And lastly, exit. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I just covered the basics, uh, basic command lines that you can use on uh, any Linux system. Currently for this one, we're using on Fedora, but again, you can use it on Kali Linux and so forth. There's definitely a lot more commands than this. I will supply a link 
in the instructor notes or in the reference section that will allow you to go to these uh, sites and learn uh, more commands, more advanced commands. All right, well, thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed it.